I don't know about you, but sometimes it is better to make your own gravy than to use the store-bought dry gravy mix that you pour hot water into. And then it just leaves it kind of lumpy and kind of messy. So today I'm going to make red wine gravy and the ingredients will be a beef stock, red wine, I am using Malbec that I have in the fridge from one day ago. I'm also going to be adding some thyme and some of these onions. This is one chopped white onion and to it I will also be adding corn flour to thicken and I will start with the three tablespoons, teaspoons sorry, three teaspoons of butter and then adding some Worcester sauce. So let's get started. The recipe called for 200 ml of red wine so let's fill it up to here and the rest will be for the chef. Okay, that looks all right. So fire going. So the recipe said to add the butter and I am going to soften the onions first. Always forget to add the thyme. Why don't I add a big sprig? Maybe a bit more of flavor. It's said not to have it on such high heat. I think it's almost looking a little translucent right now. Pepper, because I always forget to season sometimes. There is a nice aroma to the thyme and onions. A bit more because what else am I going to be using this for? <laughs> I think it's almost time to add in the red wine. This feels like a, a witch's potion. <laughs> nice and red. This isn't going to be the only thing. I'm also going to add some of the beef sauce. Now it's time to add in some Lee and Perrin's Worcester sauce. It's just to put like a teaspoon. Okay. I think it's time to add the beef stock. You could also use chicken stock or vegetable stock if you prefer. So now I have to put it on high. And this should still take like about 30 minutes or so. So I want you to see how the finished product comes out later. So come back to me soon. Thanks for watching today's show. If you like what you see, please subscribe. When we returned from Lille at St Pancras International Station, I was overwhelmed by the architecture.
Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Do you remember back in the day if you were watching your ITV region, you would probably have seen somebody sitting on a settee with a vase of flowers, maybe a cup of tea and the TV listings magazine in hand. We certainly had that when I watched Ulster Television or UTV as it's also known as. And when we were in Greece, our apartment had a little room which looked just like that setting and I couldn't resist trying to be one of those continuity announcers myself. Let's take a look. Well, we've got a great evening of programmes lined up for you on Ulster Television tonight. At nine o'clock, it's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and that means that Ant and Dec will be giving you a roundup of what has happened in the camp over the past 24 hours. Has Matt Hancock eaten a kangaroo's penis? Well, we might find out. At eight o'clock, it's an hour-long Coronation Street. Fizz and Tyrone concede defeat in their efforts to protect Hope and Bernie comes face to face with Fern's ex-husband in her bid to track her down. But will he help her? The drama is getting so tense down on the cobbles right now. But before that, it's half past seven and it's time for Emmerdale. And that's it. So what do you want to do with this? Thank you for watching our show today. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>